talk to me. Information, news, and entertainment on demand. Welcome to the Peggy Smedley Show, the voice of IoT in our connected world, with your host, Peggy Smedley. Hello, listeners, and welcome to the Peggy Smedley Show. We're coming to you live from CES in Las Vegas. My next guest is Rafi Zauer. He's the head of marketing for Essence. Rafi, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Peggy. It's good to be here. It is wonderful to have you here. So uh, this is your first time at CES. Never been before. This is the first time for me, first time for our company as well. And what do you think so far? Uh, It's big and impressive. So now you guys have a booth over at the Sands. Yep. And how do you like it? How do you like being over at the Sands, coming over here now at the convention center? Kind of crazy, both places. Both places are crazy. Uh, the, the Sands is our, is our, let's say our, our home field. All the smart home technologies are there. We feel very comfortable there, coming over here, seeing new things, which is uh, which is actually great to see. And it, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. But let's talk about what you guys are doing because you guys are in that smart home arena. What do you think of the space? What are you guys doing there? Tell us well, about your company. Well, what we do is we provide an end-to-end solution for for service providers. Uh, there are a lot of companies out there with devices and cool devices and cool systems, but uh, we we get down to business and uh, and we think, okay, what uh, what does the market need? It needs service providers to drive the market. So we create a, a solution uh, which is cloud-based. It includes the the hardware, the devices and gateways. It includes all the uh, all the applications, the user apps. And it includes uh, the, the the management side of it for the for service providers. So their ability to, to manage their users, their ability to integrate into their their, their current backend, and their ability to uh, if if they want to partner with security companies or they are a security company, to uh, to offer professional monitoring. So your basic target, if if our listeners are right now, is really the B two B space. You're yeah, not really right. going directly to consumers. So we always try to help our listeners understand what that means when you say a service provider, so they kind of understand the lingo a little bit. Yeah. So I like to say we 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 provide a consumer product to service providers. And and it's kind of an interesting thing out there. So what when you think about it as a business model and you're trying to look at this this mass adoption of the smart home, how do you how do you explain that to people who are trying to understand it? Well, the mass adoption of the smart home is very much reliant on the the user realizing the value of what they're what they're getting. Um, people will pay for toys, they'll pay for, for for fun gadgets in their house, but they won't keep paying for it. And uh, what we need is a uh, to make get this to the mass market and to make money from the providers is a is a monthly uh, monthly revenue uh, model. So what we need to do is we need to to, to provide to, to to equip these providers with services that their users will value. And uh, it's easy to to to, to just list uh, services like like security and safety. But then you're also talking about saving energy. And how do you go about doing that? I mean, it's an interesting thing because how do you then make Essence fit into that broad spectrum of all these other companies? How do you make yourself stand out amongst all that noise where all these other companies are saying they fit in? Because you guys kind of are a little different in some ways versus well, some of those other, because you're providing a lot of things. Yeah, so the way we stand out is, is by, by we, we say that we provide a platform. We provide... Um, platform with all the components that a service provider can then take that and see and, and see look at his customer and see okay what do they need and then what they can do is they can take our base system that's of, of course after they've integrated our whole platform into their system take our, our base hardware and say okay what do our what, what do our users need do they need smart switches do they need nest thermostats do they need uh, high definition uh, IP Wi-Fi cameras and then they'll go and uh, and, and plug and play and put uh, put together a system now a lot of people are talking in the market about about a wide ecosystem and being able to connect to ev- to, to everything or to anything. Um, we we believe in that and we, we we try we try to facilitate that. But on the other hand, we also need to make sure that everything works. So if you were looking at this and someone's listening, are you trying to say that that better open environment is the way to go when you're talking about a smart home technology platform? A better open environment with a a qualifier that it all has to work. So I, I don't I don't believe or we don't believe in providing a, a, a clean slate or a blank sheet and say okay just add anything. It needs to the, the one of the main issues in the market today is is interconnectivity. 
um, what, what, what can we do? There are a lot of uh, protocols out there and a lot of different devices, and they don't just they, they, they don't always work together. So, go on. So, do you have strategic partners that you like to say that you will work with versus others that are not fitting into that mold? Well, at the moment, we uh, we have two kinds of partners. We have uh, uh, home automation device partners. Uh, with whom we integrate on a, on a hub level, so we have devices who will talk directly to our to our gateway, and then we have uh, other partners who we talk to on a cloud to cloud level, such as Nest uh, and Panasonic, where they have a, they have a, an excellent uh, video services platform. So we'll um, we, we won't say we we won't work with anybody, and the, the the good thing about our model is that we can do whatever our customer needs, and our customer is the service provider. They know what they, what they need, and they know what their customer needs. So is there something specific here that you're showing at CES so, this year? So, yeah, so we're, we're showing, uh, like I said before, the, the end-to-endness of our platform. We're showing new integrations uh, with Nest, uh, with, IP, with, uh, with the Panasonic IP video. Uh, they're they're the, main, uh, the main strategic points that we want to highlight here at the show. And so in order to do that, what... What do you think, and I've asked this probably to several guests that have come on the show, what's the biggest challenges kind of holding back smart home adoption for uh, a provider like yourself, you know, a, a platform provider? I think the challenges, uh, number one, are again uh, inter- interconnectivity, the, the ability to integrate uh, varying devices and, and varying technologies. Um, and where uh, what, what we do to, 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 to meet that challenge is to, to create a an, an ecosystem with, which is on one hand open, but on the other hand uh, closed and, and packaged properly, and uh, and with the ability to cr- control the user experience, uh, make it seamless. The other side, the, the other challenge is uh, is for for understanding the values and what people are, are willing to pay for. Uh, as willing to pay for? Go ahead. Yeah. So um, we can't just keep on throwing systems out there and 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 have our providers expect a, a monthly revenue without actually providing value to their customers. So customers haven't really understood the value and they they see that the, the, I, th- I think the mass still sees it as a bit of a gimmick that they'll buy a Nest here and they'll buy a, a camera there but but not not uh, not necessarily their their whole home. When I look at this part of playing devil's advocate now as, as, as a, an editor is looking at this that I think part of the challenge is if I'm looking out there is there's just a lot of companies saying they are offer platforms yeah. right now. Yeah. Is there going to be a shakeout of companies like yourself because there's just a lot of you saying they offer a platform? Is that what the next big... Because I, I look at this like and I say everybody was a fitness tracker, you know, and then there's this, tra- this shakeout. Is that what's going to happen in the smart home space? There's going to be a shakeout? Well, I can't tell you where we'll be in in, in three to four years. Uh, I, I hope we'll still be part of the the ecosystem. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there, there there has to be some kind of um, uh, coming together of the of the industry as a whole. And and I think this uh, this all uh, all rests upon upon the the, the various protocols out there. Uh, there'll be there will be room for a lot of vendors as long as they can talk nicely to each other. How can you have so many platforms? in a smart home technology. I mean, shouldn't there just be a few? Why, why will there be so many? Is it the same concept of like a fitness tracker? There's room for pen, many because of what your specific needs are? Yeah, well, I mean, I may be simplifying it a bit here, but we're, we're in the automotive hall here and there are a lot of different cars. They all do something a little bit different. They all cater to a different part of the market. Um, they, all, they all have their strengths. Uh, in in something as specific, for example, our strength is in our our security. Um, we have we have high level of, of, of premises security because of the company background as a professional security provider. Um, other companies will have a will have a high, high level of of uh, ability to save energy uh, to manage your energy con- consumption. So, in looking at that, the, based on how somebody views it, what their needs are. Security might be the number one they think it. And when we yeah. talk about these ideas, these connected products are going to get hacked. If you want someone that's really got a, a, a penchant for strong security, that's going to be someone that says we want to go with Essence because they understand the security side of yeah, it. Yeah, for very much so. But both uh, both premises security and 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 like you said, uh, hacking wise, um, our, our devices themselves, the the motion detectors, the uh, um, the door sensors, they're they're very high level of security and a much much higher level than a lot of the the 
the smart home or, or connected home gadgets out there. Plus, like you said, um, the ability to, to prevent jamming and to, to prevent hacking is something that we put a lot of uh, a lot of effort into. We, we uh, we're, we're an Israeli company and we like to pride, pride ourselves on a high level of security, and we bring a lot of these technologies from the military. And so now your platform is available now and, and companies are working with you now? So our platform has been available for a long time uh, in Europe for the past uh, two to three years with, with a, couple of, a couple of strategic partners. Um, we've uh, recently uh, uh, finished the integration for a, a large launch that we're going to have going on here in the US uh, in the next month or two, a company called GetSafe, um, who's um, a subsidiary or an offshoot of one of the major uh, security monitoring companies here in, uh, here in the US. And they're, um, they're, they're opening a new business line for, for self-monitored and self-installed security slash uh, smart home. Well, Ralph, we're out of time. I wish you guys the best of luck here at CES. I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. It was good to talk to you. All right. Listeners, we're out of time.